Eastern Illinois women's tennis is 3-0 on the young spring season, and they're led by lone senior Janelle Prisoner. Prisoner says that while she plays both doubles and singles, her real goal is providing a good example to her younger teammates. Singles is more of a competitive one-on-one, um, -on -one, whereas doubles is more fun, light-spirited. Um, you have to be continuously pumping up your partner, you have to be, keep yourself pumped up, and it's just fun to be on the court with your, well, with my teammate. And I've gotten lucky to be, my, I love all my teammates, so it's like whoever we get paired with, it always is like a good matching because it's always so fun to play. That's The biggest difference is the fun atmosphere of doubles and that's why most people usually enjoy doubles more than singles. Definitely, um, she's really become a vocal leader and number one a leader by example. The best thing I can say about on leadership side is, you know, she's a great doubles partner, whoever she plays with. It's not something about how good they play, but I've never had a girl not love playing doubles with her because of the support, the leadership, the camaraderie she builds with doubles partner is huge in doubles. Everybody loves to be her doubles partner. That's a big compliment. I like to consider myself like a leader by example. So I'm always out here working hard, always like trying my best and I think that they see that and I mean I would hope like they would do the same thing and I think that a lot of those characteristics have, you know, implemented into their game and you know, seeing me work hard and all that, I think is really beneficial for them. Because it's kind of, when you come in as a freshman, you're kind of scared. You're like, I don't know how this is going to be. But knowing that, like, your upperclassmen and the people above you aren't going to be, like, down and, like, angry at you all the time if you make a mistake and stuff like that, it's, I think is really big. While she does a good job of leading by example, both Prisoner and Coach Blackburn say it's her natural athletic ability and her desire to keep improving that sets her apart from her peers. A lot of athleticism, a lot of, a lot of natural ability. Um, she was a two-sport athlete in high school, so we liked that. That was attractive because we knew she would get better in college being a one-sport athlete, but also you know, being a team captain, being the point guard for her high school basketball team, we knew she probably had some leadership qualities some good team qualities that would help us and contribute that way too. My parents put me in a lot of different sports and I was one of those kids that could never choose which one I liked the best. So um, my main two were basketball and tennis and I just really, really enjoyed both of them so I didn't want to stop playing either of them. So that's what made me play so many. When being a point guard you have to be really quick and like that's one of my biggest uh, strengths on the tennis court is my fitness, so I think it helps a lot with hand-eye hand coordination as well. The ability to be coordinated when you move, um, obviously quickness is important too, but I think coordinated quickness is probably more, more important than just, you know, how fast you can run 40 yards. I would want them to say that they see me as, you know, a leader and a hard worker. When I leave, I want them to remember that over everything else, that I was always out there giving it my best, no matter no matter how I felt, no matter how I was doing. I was that person that never gave up, and I think that's what I would want everyone to see. Like if there was a legacy, that's what I would want to leave. Her biggest strength, personality-wise, is work ethic. Um, nobody hits more balls than her on our team, and that sets the tone. Um, practice is important to her. She gets the most out of every minute she's out here, and that trickles down to other players and sets the tone for us. I have changed so much since my freshman year. Um, coming in, I would say that my biggest strength was my fitness, like soul fitness. Um, that's what I relied on. And now I would say that I use a lot more of my head and I'm not quite as crazy with my points as I was my freshman year, like setting up the points. I'm more strategic now. And I think that I've developed a lot since my freshman year. Prisoner says that once her career is done at EIU, she'd like to move on to a role helping other players improve and grow on the court. Everybody that plays here is special, but she's done some some very special things. And you know, it's the type of player who you kind of you grab their ankles when they're walking across the stage trying to graduate. You'd love to have her have her have her have her continue on here, but she has high goals for herself. She wants to be in college coaching, and we'll be really proud to call her an alumni of the program and you know, be proud of her progress after she leaves here too. She wants to get a master's degree. She wants to continue on in tennis and coaching and give back some of the things she's learned over the years. So 
we're excited about kind of helping her see what that process takes her. I think she'll always want to play, but I think her, her big goal right now is, um, is being, being in a master's program, helping a, helping, a, helping a team be successful next fall. That's one of my possible goals in the future. I'm going to try and be a grad assistant position somewhere for tennis. And um, I just really like, I love the game of tennis. Like I love the sport and I don't want to leave it. So, and I think that I have some good qualities that could I could implement onto others um, with my leadership, with my hard work, and I can vocalize that and get that off into coaching. Panthers next play Friday at Bradley University and open their home outdoor season on Rex Darling Courts against Lindenwood on March 7th. Reporting for Panther Sports Talk, I'm Brad Kupiak.